Welcome to Haunting Harbor TV, where we dive into the darkest depths of the supernatural world. Join us as we explore spine-chilling tales, eerie mysteries, and bone-chilling encounters that will leave you sleeping with the lights on. Get ready to embark on a journey into the unknown, if you dare. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated on our latest terrifying tales. Prepare yourself for a hauntingly good time. Let's begin. Hey guys, I just gotta share this crazy thing that happened to me a while back. It's been eating at me, and I feel like I gotta let it out, you know? So, here goes. I was in high school, just your average dude trying to get through the day without falling asleep in class. One day, I was walking home from school, taking my usual route through this old neighborhood. Everything seemed normal, just the usual sights and sounds of suburban life. But then, out of the corner of my eye, I saw something that made me stop dead in my tracks. It was this old, run-down house tucked away at the end of the street. The windows were all boarded up, and the paint was peeling off the walls like nobody's business. But that wasn't the weird part. No, the weird part was the dolls. I'm talking hundreds of them, maybe even thousands, scattered all over the front yard. Some were hanging from trees, others were propped up against the house, and a few were even sitting on the roof. It was like something out of a horror movie, man. Now, I'm not usually one to believe in all that supernatural stuff, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't right about that place. It was like the dolls were watching me, following me with their empty eyes as I walked by. I tried to tell myself it was just my imagination playing tricks on me, but I couldn't shake the feeling of unease that lingered in the pit of my stomach. I made a mental note to avoid that street from now on, but curiosity got the better of me. I started doing some digging, asking around to see if anyone knew the story behind the creepy dollhouse. Most people just shrugged it off or said they'd never noticed it before, but I finally managed to track down an old lady who lived nearby. He told me the house used to belong to a family who had a little girl that went missing years ago. They searched high and low for her, but she was never found. The parents were heartbroken, and they eventually moved away, leaving the house abandoned. But here's where it gets really freaky. The old lady whispered to me that some folks around here believe the little girl's spirit still haunts the place, that she's trapped inside one of those dolls waiting for someone to set her free. I laughed it off at the time, but now I'm not so sure. I can't get that image out of my head, those lifeless dolls staring at me with their cold, dead eyes. I don't know if it's just my imagination running wild or if there's something more sinister going on, but I can tell you one thing for sure. I'm never going anywhere near that dollhouse again. And if you know what's good for you, you won't either. Trust me, some mysteries are better left unsolved. Sorry about that, got carried away. So, where was I? Oh yeah, the dollhouse. Anyway, after hearing that story from the old lady, I couldn't shake the feeling of dread that had settled over me like a dark cloud. Every time I walked past that house, I could feel those dolls staring at me, their silent whispers echoing in the back of my mind. But things didn't stop there. No, they got even weirder. One night, I was lying in bed, trying to get some sleep, when I heard this strange scratching noise coming from outside my window. At first, I tried to brush it off as just the wind or something, but it kept getting louder and more insistent, like someone or something 
was trying to get my attention. I finally mustered up the courage to peek outside, and what I saw made my blood run cold. There, standing in the moonlight, was one of those dolls from the dollhouse. Its porcelain face was cracked and weathered, and its glass eyes gleamed in the darkness. But the creepiest part was the way it was moving, like it was alive or something. I watched in horror as the doll started to slowly shuffle towards my window, its tiny feet scraping against the pavement. I wanted to scream, to run and hide, but I was frozen in place, unable to move a muscle. It was like I was trapped in some twisted nightmare, unable to wake up no matter how hard I tried. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, the doll reached out its hand and started tapping on the glass, its sharp little nails making a sound like bones rattling in the wind. I wanted to slam the window shut and pretend like none of this was happening, but something inside me told me that would only make things worse. So I did the only thing I could think of. I reached out and opened the window, letting the doll crawl inside like some kind of demonic spider. I know it sounds crazy, but in that moment, I felt like I had no other choice. Like I was being guided by some unseen force beyond my understanding. And then, just like that, the doll was gone. Vanished it into thin air, like it had never been there in the first place. I wanted to believe it was all just a bad dream, but deep down, I knew it was all too real. So, here's my advice to anyone reading this. If you ever come across a dollhouse like the one I described, run. Run as fast as you can and don't look back. Because once those dolls set their sights on you, there's no telling what they'll do to get what they want. And trust me, you don't want to stick around long enough to find out. Thank you for joining us on this spine-tingling journey through the shadows. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your fellow thrill seekers. Stay tuned for more bone-chilling tales from Haunting Harbor TV. Until next time, remember to keep your doors locked and your lights on. Sleep tight, if you can. Good night and sweet nightmares.